Hello YouTube, it's Lion here with Hobbies of a Man once again, and today we are talking about manga. Now, today's manga review is going to be over Bleach in the 3 in 1 edition, so we're covering the first three volumes, as you guys can see right there. Now, Bleach is written by Tite Kubo. It's published by Viz, um, as you guys can see right there. And it's a Shonen Jump title, so the demographic is Shonen. And the genres here are Adventure and Supernatural. Quite a bit of action as well. Um, it does have an adaptation, and I personally watched all the way through this Soul Society arc on Netflix. I don't know if it's available anywhere else, but I'm sure it is. Um, so the premise here is that a young man with an ability to see spirits gets sucked into the world of the Soul Reapers and Hollows and this thing called the Soul Society. So after meeting them and interacting with them, having a battle with a Hollow, what follows next is a samurai exorcist story, essentially. It's about people with swords killing monsters, and it's really fun. I really enjoyed myself reading it. Now, what we're covering here is the first 25 chapters of the manga, or the first 10 chapter, ch 10 episodes, sorry, of the anime. This is about a third of the Shinigami training arc. Or, no, wait, no, the the Shinigami assistant arc or something like that. It, it It's basically the beginning of the Soul Society arc, but it's split into a smaller section at the beginning uh, during the first 70 chapters of the manga because it's when they're in the human world. And then when they go to the Soul Society, it turns into the Soul Society arc, obviously. So that's what we're covering here today. Um, just so you guys are situated, I'm gonna talk about all of it in general. I'll kind of break down what's in each uh, volume, but I'm not uh, holding myself to that. And I'll talk overall about the whole experience. So, the plot line here is very fun. It's good. It starts off as a basic premise with a basic setting. A boy in high school that can see spirits, that helps these spirits along when necessary. But it quickly turns into a lot of more action-oriented story when he meets a soul reaper. He meets her by accident, and in fact, he ends up having to help her because she gets beaten beaten by a hollow and he needs to protect his family because the hollow is after someone, uh, him, I think, and is attacking his home and he needs to beat it to protect his family. So they join forces, he gets the powers, and he starts beating up hollows. And that's basically what it um, boils down to. It's a boy fighting some monsters. Um, it's really enjoyable. I really like how it all happened. I enjoyed the battles and the character-oriented stories. Um, the first f half of the vol of the first volume is about Ichigo. The second half of the first volume is about Orihime, who is a classmate of him of of his, and it focuses on her relationship with her dead brother, and obviously with some battles at the end. Then we have a story about Chad, who is another of Ichigo's friends. And then we um, see the story of Ichigo in the third volume. So it's pretty interesting how it all works. And it really plays well. Like the story and the like the character stories and the general plot line mi mixes and mashes really well together as it goes through. Um, or as you're reading through it. So I really like it. My favorite part was the storyline with Chad and the parakeet. I thought that was fun. Really enjoyable. I thought it showed off some good interactions between the characters. And kind of the premise of the story was really well encompassed in that storyline. Now, the characters are really enjoyable. I like them all. They all serve a purpose. Ichigo and his family are very fun. I like his weird, wacky dad. And his two sisters, Yuzu and Karen, or Karin, um, are really interesting as well. I like how they stepped up when their mother died and really decided to be uh you know strong individuals for their brother and father and for themselves so i really enjoy that um i think they're really interesting their family dynamic is a funny kind of weird thing um rukia is very cute like she's adorable in a weird kind of way and i really like her character and her weird obsession with cute things even though she's like a really serious and you know prim and proper kind of uh, character. But it's just really enjoyable. And I think it's because of the weird like isekai-esque feeling of it 
like Rukia is not a human and she hasn't been a human for a very long time. She grew up in the soul society, I guess. And she's coming to the world and she doesn't know how to act. And so a lot of her cute mess ups and like weirdness comes from that. So it's really fun. Um, I like Orihime. I think she's fun. Her her disposition is really ditzy. Like she is um, not very sh aware of what's going on around her. And it's really funny. And it leads to a lot of good comedy situations. But she's also rather perceptive about very specific things. And she's really like a well-meaning character. So I really like her. Chad is interesting. He's like a very gentle giant with a lot of physical power. And it's cool. And I also like his backstory. I mean, I know a lot about it from the Soul Society arc that I watched. And it's not talked about here. But he is an interesting character once you get to know him a little bit more. So yeah, I really enjoy all of these guys. Uh, Ichigo is fun because he's like a really cool guy. Um, but he's kind of faking it. A lot of times he says, I cultivated this image so like specifically and then this guy that's taken over my body gone or cone i think is really ruining it and messing up my cool guy image and it was just fun that's another character gone or cone or whatever his name is he's cool he's like this uh sentient automaton kind of thing um like a f like an ai spirit made for a specific purpose and he's like the last of his kind and he got uh, saved by Ichigo and Rukia. And I like his kind of like comedic uh, character type of disposition. I really enjoy how it kind of works out. The world building is also really good. It's something a little different from what you're used to. It's not based on anything real, I think. It's, it's just kind of like I want them to have spirit-based powers and I want it to be like an aura and uh that's that i guess and this thing called spir spiritual pressure kind of is the thing that gives all of the powers in the series so it's interesting i like the samurai style exorcist i think it's a really cool concept it's been overplayed at this point but i think bleach was one of the earlier versions of it oh, or at least the most popular one that one that's most uh original feeling to me I enjoy the hollows and how they're like soulless monsters. It kind of reminds me of Heartless from, uh, what's that game called? Kingdom Hearts. So it's interesting. Um, and yeah, I like the spirit magic. Uh, well, they call it dark magic or soul magic or something. I like the high school setting as well. And stuff is explained as it becomes necessary. It's not like you have to sit through a lot of exposition dumps early on. So yeah. Now, the art here is a bit weird at first, but you get used to it quickly and you really start to appreciate it. Tite Kubo has a very stylistic, aesthetic kind of art. Kind of reminds me of early 2000s uh, fashion, and I guess it makes sense that's when it started airing or releasing. Uh, I think this was serialized in 2001. It's like the youngest out of the big three. Naruto was in 1998. And Bleach was, uh, One Piece was around the same time, if I remember correctly. So, yeah. Um, there's no fan service at all in this book. So if that's something that you're worried about, this one is pretty safe for now. I think there is a lot of more fan service in one of the later arcs, but there's none just yet. Um, yeah, I definitely recommend it. It's fun, it's enjoyable, and it definitely recommend it. Uh, similar titles titles here, I would say Bleach uh, is similar to Blue Exorcist, Shaman King, um, and a few others like it. I mean, what was the other one that I was thinking of? Soul Eater, kind of, a little bit similar. Um, but yeah, that's it for me. If you guys enjoyed, please like, subscribe, and comment down below. Let me know what you thought, and uh, share your opinions with me. In fact... Uh, Besides sharing your opinions, if you guys want to recommend manga to me, that would be really great. I'm really looking to buy new series to try new things out. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to see the recommendations you guys give me and your thoughts on Bleach. Thank you guys very much for watching and see you guys later.